In this lecture, I will give you the Laplace transform and the region of convergence of different exponential signals. On your screen, you can see four different exponential signals and out of these four signals, I will calculate the Laplace transform and ROC of the first signal. And for the remaining three signals, you can easily obtain the Laplace transform and ROC following the same process. However, I will give you the final result for the three signals also. So let's move to the calculation of bilateral Laplace transform of time domain signal e power minus at ut. The time domain signal is equal to e power minus at ut and we are required to calculate the corresponding Laplace transform fs and we know the bilateral Laplace transform is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity the time domain signal or the input which is e power minus at ut in this case multiplied to the integral kernel e power minus st and we know ut is equal to zero from minus infinity to zero so from minus infinity to zero ut will be zero and therefore the overall result of integration is going to be zero so we have zero as the result of integration from minus infinity to zero but from 0 to infinity, ut is equal to 1. So we have e power minus at multiplied to e power minus st. Now I will combine the two exponentials and write them as a single exponential. So we have e power minus a plus st or I will write e power minus s plus at. This will make no difference. And we know the result of integration of e power minus s plus a t is equal to e power minus s plus a t over minus s plus a. And the range of integration is from 0 to infinity. So this is equal to the bilateral Laplace transform fs. We can write it as minus 1 over s plus a s plus a is not having any term of time t therefore it is not required to put infinity and zero in place of t like we will do in this case we will put infinity in place of t and then we will put zero in place of t so we have e power minus s plus a in place of t we will put infinity and then minus e power minus s plus a in place of t we will put zero or overall we can write it as e power 0. So this is what we have and now we will focus on the exponential e power minus s plus a multiplied to infinity. We know s is a complex variable equal to sigma plus j omega. So we can write e power minus s plus a multiplied to infinity as e power minus sigma plus j omega plus a multiplied to infinity or we can write e power minus sigma plus a writing the real parts together multiplied to infinity multiplied to e power minus j omega multiplied to infinity omega multiplied to infinity will be infinity therefore we will write infinity here in place of omega infinity now in the last lecture, we saw e power minus j infinity is equal to cos infinity minus j sine infinity. And we know cosine and sine have the values between minus 1 and plus 1. So it is obvious that we are going to get the value of e power minus j infinity between minus 1 and plus 1. But we are not sure about the exact value because we are having the arguments equal to infinity. Therefore, we are having the finite and undefined value of e power minus j infinity. And to have the finite value of the Laplace transform, we need to focus on e power minus sigma plus a multiplied to infinity. To have the finite value from here, we are having only one option. We want this part of the power 
positive because when this part is positive we will get e power minus the positive part multiplied to infinity which is e power minus infinity the positive part multiplied to infinity is equal to infinity itself so finally we will have e power minus infinity which is equal to 0 and when 0 is multiplied to this finite part we will get 0 which will set the stage to have the finite value of Laplace transform fs if by chance sigma plus a is negative in that particular case we will have e power minus then minus of some finite value multiplied to infinity so in that scenario we will have e power plus infinity and e power plus infinity is infinity infinity multiplied to the finite value will give us infinity so the Laplace transform will become infinity and will not exist so there is some condition on sigma plus a sigma plus a should be positive this means it should be greater than 0 and from here we are getting sigma should be greater than minus a and this is our region of convergence and when this happens we will get 0 from here so we will have the Laplace transform I am writing the next step here equal to minus 1 over s plus a minus 1 over s plus a multiplied to 0 minus 1 e power 0 is equal to 1 so 0 minus 1 so it is equal to 1 over s plus a so the signal e power minus a t u t is having the bilateral Laplace transform equal to 1 over s plus a with region of convergence as sigma greater than minus a or we can write real part of s greater than minus a so i hope the explanation is clear to you and if you remember the lecture shortcut for region of convergence i give you one very important shortcut to calculate roc in very less time we will use that particular shortcut to have the same roc without going through all these analysis according to that shortcut the step number one is to compare sigma with the real part of the coefficient of t in the power of e so here we are having the coefficient equal to minus a and minus a is the real part of the coefficient of t so we will compare sigma with minus a and the sign or the relation between sigma and minus a will depend on the step signal we are having here ut is having the waveform like this so ut is a right sided signal so when you multiply e power minus at to ut you will get ft as right sided signal and when we have right sided signal then we have greater than sign between sigma and the real part of the coefficient of t which is minus a so you can see that we have the same region of convergence sigma greater than minus a so it is always good to use the shortcut method when you are running out of time now we will move to our second exponential signal which is minus e power minus a t u minus t and this signal is having the laplace transform equal to 1 over s plus a and the region of convergence as real part of s less than minus a the calculation of laplace transform and roc of the third signal is homework problem for you so once you have the laplace transform and roc of the third signal post it in comment section now i will give you the laplace transform and region of convergence of our last signal which is minus e power at u minus t the signal is having the laplace transform equal to 1 over s minus a and the region of convergence as real part of s less than a so this is all for this lecture if you have any doubt post it in comment section and don't forget to solve the homework problem